what it is guys it's your boy Majin Kane and I am back with a brand new story time man you guys see the gameplay in the background so you already know what time it is man hey yo DJ drop the video yes of course my story time series is back from the desert, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, first and foremost, I really want to thank you guys for supporting my stories for the past, man. And also, I really want to apologize for removing them. It's because I feel like I've been told by someone to go ahead and remove them, you know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, man, I would go for another season. So I'm like, nah, I'll go ahead and delete the rest of the stories and take a break on that. But now, come to think of it, when Swagger King tells us a story about what's going on in his past i'm like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and bring my stuff back and then i made a poll of it you guys really want me to do more stories so with that being said man it's time for me to go ahead and bring the series back from the dead for the first time in months and let's get right into it man so this story right here is titled rachel farted in my class <laughs> Ah man! <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm all right, all right, all right. For real, for real. The title is um, the title is called Rachel farted in the classroom, bro. So, back in the third grade, right? You know when these four desks facing at each other in a uh, circular formation, like left, right, up, down, or something like that. So we have four different sections of the desks right around the classroom, right? So I sat next to the homies, Josh and Jason. So Josh, Jason, and I are talking about which Kids Tell Your V TV show is better and why, right? So we've been talking like five or 10 minutes now. And now Rachel sat right next to me and I look at her behind. She was eating some Cool Ranch Doritos, right? Cause you know, in the class, you know, in schools, they don't allow you to eat snacks or start drinking their drinks or whatever in the classroom, right? Because she kind of sort of break the rules or know all that kind of stuff like that, right? So, um, I sat next to Rachel and I look at her and I and I look at her from behind, man. She got a little two pigtails on both sides of her head and all that stuff. Dark skin, like I mean, like freaking dark, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um. She was eating some cool rice Doritos and tell me why this girl is so white. I can see her butt crack on the seat, like them three view seats on from the back, from the back of the chair and all that. And I'm like, God, this girl is gonna be disgusting for the end of the school year or something like that, right? So anyway, Rachel and the girls are talking about their um favorite female celebrities, you know, like Beyonce and uh, you know. I don't know, just Beyonce. I don't know the early. I'm tr I'm trying to kind of sort of remember the early female celebrities in the 2000s or something like that, right? It was back in the early 2000s, by the way. All I know is Beyonce. That's it. So anyway, so we've been talking, da da da, and then next thing you know, boy, tell me why. <laughs> tell me why that girl Rachel ripped those farts so loud. I can hear it on the right side of my ear. And then the kids was like, ew. ew. And then Rachel was like, man, what y'all at? Why y'all saying ill foe? I know I ain't doing nothing. So I took a whiff of that stuff like, and I'm like, I used my shirt to cover my nose. And I'm like, yo, she stayed like for real, dog. And then Rachel looked at me like, who you think you talking to like that? You're supposed to respect me as a woman in this classroom. And I'm like, ah, not, 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 not why we were kids, nah. Not the way you let loose, because the way how you let loose, you get loose, right? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> after she farted and all that, her fart smells so bad. It smells like something came out of the garbage dumpster from from the school man you know like in schools they have the dumpsters in the back of the building and all that that's what that's what it smells like bro i cannot stand the funk of that smell man and even the teacher was great in our classwork and all that right she took a whiff of her first like 
Okay, her te- her her my teacher name was Miss Chase, right? Miss Chase took a whiff of those farts from Rachel's area, and she was all like, "Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh my God, ah, oh, it stinks!" Who farted in this classroom? And then every single one of the students pointed their fingers at Rachel, including me personally. It was like, and I'm like. Yep, she farted. She so did it. Rachel, why did you fart in this class? Because, Miss Chase, I always eat my Coco Ranch Doritos and then I farted in everywhere. I farted in the classroom and now I farted back at home. So what do you want to do about it? You know what, Rachel? I'm going to call your mother right now. I really am going to call your mother because you have fleshless problems. <laughs> Even though I laughed on the inside, man, but if I laugh on the outside, bro, Miss Chase gonna get me too, and I'm gonna get in trouble for this. So I <laughs> close my eyes, I cover my mouth with laughter, and I'm like, man, you know, like when you're going to laugh so hard, but you have to keep your mouth shut, bro. I I have to do it, man. I had to keep my mouth shut. I was laughing on the inside, man, but instead of the outside, because if I did, I'd get in trouble too, okay? So anyway, Miss Chase picked up the phone, and she called Rachel's mom, and this Rachel was like, no, no, don't call my mama. Please, don't call my mama. I have to call your mother's Rachel, because you have flatulence problem. I really have to call her. So she picked up the phone, and she talked to Rachel's mom, and she's like, hello, may I speak to Miss Da Da Da, right? Hello, I'm Miss Chase from uh, the elementary school, and I'm having a problem with your daughter. And she's like, Rachel was like, no, don't call my mama. You know, you know, like how girls be, be whining and all that kind of stuff, right? And she's like, oh, don't call my mama, or please don't do that to me no more. Please don't call my mama. Something like that, something like that. Okay, next thing you know, Rachel's mom heard her in the background yelling and whining and crying and all that stuff, right? So, <laughs> it come to find out that her mom heard her talking like she's crying and all that stuff, right? And then Miss Shay said, yes, your, your daughter has flatulence problem. She told me that she eats Cool Ranch Doritos, which she broke the rule by eating snacks in the classroom. Because you know how teachers are when they don't allow children to eat snacks in their classrooms or even start drinking their drinks in the classrooms. They supposed to eat snacks at lunch. Like during lunch, we eat snacks. We eat all the pizzas with all the corns and the cornbread. I don't eat cornbread actually. The corn, corn dogs, hot dogs, whatever, man. We eat that kind of stuff in the cafeteria back in the day. So anyway, about 15 minutes later, man, Miss Chase and Rachel's mom hung up the phone and it seems like they're having a little bit of an altercation over Rachel when she farted, right? So Rachel's mom came over to the classroom like 35 minutes ago, right? She looked at she she looked at Rachel dead in her eyes, bro. She looked at her dead in her eyes. And she did the finger arm thing like come here. Like she did the finger gesture and all that kind of stuff. Like, come here. Come here. Bring your backpack and all that. We're gonna have a talk about this. So Rachel stood up. She pulled her pants up because she had a butt crack showing and all that, man. She picked up a little book bag and then she left. And then she gone. And I look at her and I'm like, dang. <laughs> so how about the next day we took this testing program called FCAT. Now FCAT is basically um a te- when you live when you live in Florida, right? When you live in Florida, you have to go ahead and take those tests. Either way, you're, whether you are in um, third grade or maybe in eleventh grade or whatever, because twelfth graders you can't take no FCAT test or whatever. So, right by the time testing starts, man, Rachel sat next to me on the same spot again after she learned her lesson about what's going on yesterday. So today was testing day. We have to go ahead and take the test. Like we can, FCAT is basically like. It depends on how good you are based on the schoolwork that you've been doing for the past couple of months or maybe even years, you know? So we took the test, man. Everybody else was quiet and cool and calm or whatever. 
No noises and everything like that, man. Like no talking, no banging on the tables or desk or no typing on the computer and all that kind of stuff. The whole classroom was quiet, bro. The whole classroom was quiet. I was focusing on my test because we were doing like math and all that kind of stuff like that, right? Rachel. Oh my God. I can't believe that. Dang it. I keep saying Rachel, man. What? What's her name, Mr. DJ? Raquel? Dang it. I should have said Raquel in the beginning, man. You stupid. So anyway, Raquel. Um. <laughs> okay. Raquel was taking a test, right? Dude. I, I I promise you, if I hear that one more fart once more, I promise you, I'm going to walk out of this classroom by myself, man. I'd rather go ahead and chill inside the janitor's closet instead, bro. So anyway, about 25 minutes ago, right? Dude, she ripped those farts again like so loud. And then the kid's like, oh, not again. Oh, man. And then Miss Chase took a whiff of those farts. Like she sniffing on her like. Ah! 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 Like you know how girls be doing when they doing orgasms when they took a whiff of those farts and then they start doing the orgasm and all that stuff. Bruh, she did that orgasm after she sniffed those farts and she said, Rachel, I'm going to suspend you for two weeks because you didn't do everything I say because you just let your farts out of your butt girl so what i fart whatever i want to fart and then miss chase was like are you back sassing me and she was like yeah i'm back sassing you you called my mama yesterday and now i want to do what i want to do of course i stay i took a bath every night and i still stay i fart what i want i want to fart and then she farts again and then it smells even worse now. This is like Lashana from Total. Okay, you guys remember the episode from Total Drama um, Action, right? When Lashana farts when she's laying on her belly on her chest and she started farting. Can you even imagine if the classroom is covered up in gassy fumes from Raquel's farts? And it stinks so bad, it smells like it smells like the boys' locker room, but even worse now. You feel me? So I'm like, man. I cover my nose up with my shirt, man, and I'm like, dang, it really stinks in this classroom, man. I can't stand that smell. And then Jason's like, to be honest with you, bro, I'd rather go ahead and walk outside and get some fresh air. And I'm like, yo, you want to do that stuff? And I'm like, yeah, come on, Josh, come on, Kay, come on, let's go ahead and get some, go outside and get some fresh air. And then... We asked Miss Chase, oh, can we go outside and get some fresh air because it stinks in here? And then Miss Chase was like, okay, yes, yeah, sure. Go ahead and go outside and get some fresh air. I'm going to talk to Raquel about this. So about 10 of us, except Rachel, walk outside of the classroom, right? We took some, we got some fresh air and he was like, ah, fresh air, man. Boy, that classroom is stank. And then Anthony, <laughs> Anthony was in the back and he was like, Oh, that girl stank. <laughs> Boy, we bust that laughing so hard, man. Because Raquel had the worst farts in the classroom, man. Can you? Oh, man. I can, I don't know what to say about this, man. I, I really don't, bro. <laughs> Boy, that classroom was stank, man. It smells like somebody had some leftover deviled eggs from the refrigerator or something, man. God. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. The moral of the story is, man, when somebody farted in your classroom, man, always bring... <laughs> always bring it some Febreze and all that stuff, bro. Because you never know if a guy or a girl farted so silently, but even louder. But you gotta go ahead and bring that spray with you, man. Kids, I advise you not to do this, man. It's the pandemic, man. Don't do that stuff around children, man. It's social distancing time, man. I understand that, but don't fart in your classroom, man. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I'm back. To my old self telling you guys stories man so <laughs> oh man i cannot stand people farting in the classroom man but yo anyway. <laughs> let's
let me know in the comments down below, man. If you guys enjoy my stories, man, I really appreciate that, man. If you guys want more, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. And until next time, it's your boy Margin Kane. I've been out of this thing. And that Shadow Force 140 always says this. I hope life treats you good.